Hello, welcome to Mitchell Hall, room 103A, also known as the dance studio. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how the audio video system works in here. The first thing we're going to notice is that we've opened up this closet, and the, so the closet in the back portion of the dance studio is where everything is located. And inside the closet here is our controller on the left hand side, and that's going to control the sources we send to the projector and the power of the projector. Right now, off is highlighted, and so that means that the projector is powered off. If I press the on button, the projector will power on. It's going to take about a minute for the projector to power up, and while that's happening, I'm going to show you how to bring the screen down. The video screen controller is located right here. There are three states. The up state, right now we're in the neutral state, and if I click it to the down state, it's going to start bringing the projector screen down. When the screen's all the way down, I'm going to want to make sure and chain, move this back into the neutral position so that we're not putting any more strain on the, on the motor. And then uh, I'm going to want to program whatever source that I want uh, onto our controller here. We have the option for you to connect a PC, a document camera, or a laptop. But because of the way this room is set up and the amount of space that we have, uh, today I'm only going to put the laptop in there. If you ever wanted a document camera or uh, a PC installed in here and ready for you, please give us a call at Academic Technology Services and we're happy to help you. But for right now, I'll just show you how to get your PC or your laptop up and running. So I plug my laptop into the video cable that's hanging here in the cabinet. Then I'm going to hit the laptop button right on the controller. And then I'm going to ensure that my laptop is giving a signal to an external projector. And the way I'm going to do that is hold down the function key on my Windows keyboard. Then I'm going to press the F8 button. On my computer, it brings up a nice little menu. On your computer, it might scroll through these automatically, so you might have to hit that F8 key more than once. I'm going to choose the duplicate option, which is going to put the same signal from my laptop as right up on the screen. Some of the other things that you're able to do in here is uh, control some of the different audio sources that we have. There's a turntable, a cassette deck, a CD player, and all of these things are going to be controlled by our controls over here. I'm going to make sure the power is turned on using this power switch right on the left hand side there. And then the labels here will tell you which, which knobs control which device. So if I press play on the CD player, it's obviously way too loud, so I go ahead and I go to the number six, which is the CD, and I go ahead and just turn it down a little bit. We also have a VHS DVD player. If you needed a VHS tape, you put it in the right-hand side and press the video button. A DVD, put it in the left-hand side and press the DVD button. Then you can use the front panel controls or the remote control to control the DVD player. And you'll want to be sure to come over to the controller and press the VCR DVD button. That's going to tell the projector to go ahead and look at the DVD VCR. And then I can go back over to my controller here and turn up the VCR until I get it to the level that's comfortable for my listeners. When I'm all done with whatever it is I'm doing, I'm going to go back over to the controller. I'm going to hit projector off. That's going to power down the projector and save the life of the projector bulb. If you have any questions, or ever need help with anything in this room, please give a call to the Academic Technology Services staff and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.